Nowadays, even doing something as simple as moving a wiper arm on a vehicle requires a recalibration. One example is on this Ford Focus behind me. After you do any of that sort of work, you do need to perform a recalibration. So let's walk through how to do it. All right, so that's inside the body control module. So we'll scroll down a little bit till we get to body. And there's body control module there. It's a functional test, so we'll go in there. And if we go all the way down to the bottom, we see wiper motor module calibration. So it says, this procedure places the wiper motor module in calibration mode. Perform this procedure if the wiper arms have been removed and reinstalled. So anytime you need to remove those arms, maybe you need to do work under the cowl, something of that nature, or just replacing the arms in general, this needs to be done. So we'll hit continue. Before performing this procedure, make sure all the following operations are complete. The windshield wipers have been installed correctly according to manufacturer specifications. They have. The battery has sufficient charge. A low battery voltage may prevent the body control module from entering calibration mode. We're good there. And the windshield needs to be clean and dry. All good there. Ensure the ignition is switched on and engine not running. Also good. It says wiper motor module is in calibration mode. Press the wiper washer switch down three times within five seconds. The wipers will swipe upwards to a pre-initialization position and stop. So let's do that. There we go. Now they're in a pre-initialized condition. Now it says gently pull both wipers out towards the A-pillar molding until the distance between the wiper arm where the wiper blade is mounted and the edge of the windshield is 50 millimeters. Got my little tape measure here. And 50 millimeters is just shy of two inches. And as you can see, that sets it pretty much to the max of travel, right to the edge of the windshield there. So that's what we're trying to calibrate. Tell the computer where max is, because there is no linkage on this, uh, their individual wiper motors. Uh, once that's done, press the wiper switch down one time and that'll set the current windshield wiper arm position as the approved position and the wiper arms will move back to the park position. So let's do that. One time, and there they go, down to the park position. So it says, note, if the wiper arms are pulled closer to the A-pillar than the specified distance during this step, do not attempt to move the wiper arms back towards the pre-initialization position. If this is attempted, the wiper motor could be damaged. Pre-initialization can be reset by first selecting the intermittent on the wiper washer switch and then selecting off, and that'll reset it. Once we're done, we're done. So procedure is complete. Wiper motor module is now in normal mode. They wanted to carry out a low-speed wiper test to make sure the windscreen wiper motors and arms park in the correct position, and then carry out a high-speed wiper test and a wet windscreen to make sure the wiper blades do not touch the A-pillar. So all set and calibrated.